The year 1658 is a very important year in Rembrandt's biography. 1658, of course, is the date of the uh, man with arms akimbo. Uh, Rembrandt was bankrupt, uh, so anything that he earned after going bankrupt would have gone immediately to his creditors. Hendrikje, his common-law wife, set up this company to uh, protect the, uh, Rembrandt's income uh, so he could take on commissions again. This was undoubtedly a commission. The man has very distinct facial features. Rembrandt uh, used his models, would use them again and again, but this figure you only see one time. So it's pretty certain that it's a portrait of a man and not um, simply a fantasy piece. He has both fists planted in his side and both of his elbows are sticking out. That posture is a very regal posture. It was thought that he was uh, Louis Criers, who was uh, the lawyer who uh, uh, fought tooth and nail to get um, Titus his uh, inheritance from his, uh, from his mother, Saskia. It's been called the rough style with very broad brushstrokes and uh, a lot of experiments with texture.